Are you ready to add some handmade charm to your holiday season? In this tutorial, we're crafting adorable snowman ornaments with your Cricut. I'll guide you through starting in Cricut Design Space, cutting your design with ease, and creating ornaments that are perfect for your tree or gifting. Whether you're new to Cricut or a seasoned pro, this quick and fun project is a festive way to spread holiday cheer. Hey everyone, it's Lean from ColoradoLean.com. Welcome back to the craft room. Before we jump into Cricut Design Space, let's talk about our ornaments. I have these cute little round ornaments that I purchased from Michaels quite a few years ago. And these are what I'm going to use for today's project. Here are the images that I'm going to be using today. And I will have a link so you can download these free images down in the description as well as in the corresponding blog post. And I'm going to be using two different colors of Oracle 651 permanent adhesive vinyl. So I need to know how big to make these images. So taking our handy little tape measure from side to side, the ornaments probably about three and a half inches across. And I don't, I don't want it that big. I really just want to center the image on the front. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my snowman faces approximately two and a half inches across. I think that will be a really good size on here. So let's go ahead and jump into Cricut Design Space and get started on our project. All right, we are in Cricut Design Space on my iPad, and I have already uploaded the SVG file to Design Space. So I'm going to open Uploaded Images. I will choose my Snowman Twins ornament and add that to the canvas. So the first thing we need to do is ungroup these two images. And now we want to make sure that they are no more than two and a half inches wide. So I will highlight this first one, come over to edit. And with the height and width aspect ratio locked, I'm going to go ahead and change this to 2.5 inches. And then I will do the same for this one. And there we go. So this is going to be a really easy project to make. Um, all we need to do is click Make It. I am going to save this as Snowman Ornaments, and I will save that to the cloud. I will be working on a 12 by 12 mat. And as you can see here, I have both of my faces, the eyes and the mouth, on one mat. I am going to scoot this first one over just a little bit. And I'm going to take note that it is three inches tall by about oh, just a tiny over six inches wide. So I'm going to cut my black permanent vinyl to three by maybe six and a quarter. And then we'll come over to our second mat. And I want to move these to the first mat so that I'm only working with one mat at one time. So I'm going to highlight one of the carrot noses. I will click the three dots, move the object, and I will select the first mat. And then I will 
highlight the carrot. And I'm just going to bring it down to the bottom of the mat. So I will do that again, highlight it, click the three dots, move the object, choose the mat, and then grab it and move it down. And again, for this one, I'll probably have, oh, I don't know, an inch and a quarter of orange vinyl and maybe about four and a half inches wide. So we'll go ahead and click Next. Select our accessory, which is our Cricut Explorer Air 2. And I'm just going to cut this on premium vinyl on the default pressure. So let's go ahead and get our mat loaded and we'll get this cut. All right, I have my Oracle 651 vinyl trimmed down and I am going to put this on my cutting mat. Now, my mat is not sticky at all. So I'm going to use some small pieces of painter's tape that I have cut and just taped here to my other desk. And then I will put my orange piece down here at the bottom. And again, I'm going to use some painter's tape. And then one more little strip right there. Now I'm going to get this put in my Cricut Explore Air 2, and we'll be back when we're finished with the cutting. Okay, that did not take long at all. So let's go ahead and take the tape off of here. And I am using my pin pen weeding tool from 143 Vinyl. And I am going to trim that down just a little bit. I did pull a little bit too much vinyl off of here. So to use the pin pen weeding tool, you just go in at a 45 degree angle. And there you go. Oh, these little noses are so cute. All right, let's go ahead and get these faces cleaned up here. Now I did get a new light. So let me know how that's working. All right, so again, go at about a 45 degree angle. And if my mat was stickier, then this would definitely catch and pull up. And there are the faces. So because the pin pin weeding tool has a very fine needle at the end of it, I always make sure to put it back in this protective case so I don't grab it and try to write with that because that would not work well. So we will set that off to the side. And I'm just going to go ahead and trim these apart and place the nose with the face. As always, I am going to be using medium tack transfer tape, also from 143 Vinyl. 
Now I don't need a very large piece, uh, just wide enough to get the entire face on there. So I'll just kind of measure it out and then cut it down. Now I'm not going to be wasting this. I'm only going to be doing one ornament at a time. So I will cut a piece and just work with that. And then the rest of it I will put back on my roll and it will be ready for the next small project. So let's go ahead and do the taco method and lay that over. And because we're working on a small project, I'm just gonna use my little Cricut scraper. And I will burnish that well. Let me turn it over and burnish the other side. All right, I'm gonna set that aside for a moment. And I want to clean my ornament with some alcohol before I get too far. Uh, this is a clean rag. It is just a stained rag. I use this with all of my distress inks. So I'm just gonna clean that off. And then let that dry for a moment. Now I did put my cloth away, but I think I'm gonna need it so that this doesn't roll around on the table. So I've got one last burnish and then I am pulling the backing paper off of the vinyl. And then Pardon my head if I get in the way. So I'm gonna adjust this just a little bit. There, so it angles more towards me. I hope you can still see that. And I am just going to lay that down. Okay, so I did just do the eyeballs because there is a little bit of a curve. So I will come in and just kind of place the smile on there. If it's a little crooked, it's a little crooked. And I'm still holding up this other side until I can get this first one down. And then I'll just kind of bend it around. Now, because this is a silly snowman face, it does not have to be perfect. I know we all think, oh, it's got to be perfect. It's got to be perfect. <laughs> it just doesn't. It just really doesn't. There, I had one little buckle on the edge there. So I will just work that out. And now I will pick up the carrot nose. Burnish that down a little bit. Oop, not quite enough. Okay, there we go.
And then we're just going to set that in there. And if it goes over the corner of the mouth, I am absolutely fine with that. It would be better if it didn't, but you know, I will just make adjustments on the next ornament. I will make sure to put the mouth down a little bit farther. And there is our first ornament. So I'm going to go ahead and get my second ornament cleaned up and I'll be back with you shortly. All right, here are the adorable little snowmen. Now, I should have done a test run on this to know exactly the best way to do it. Um, as you saw in the sped up version of this second one, I did cut the face apart. I put the eyes on first and then the nose so it would fit. And then I put the mouth on. Um, I wish I'd have known that for this one, but you know what? I still think it is absolutely adorable just the way it is. So I want to add a little bit something extra to this. So let me bring in a few more supplies here. I have some fake snow that I purchased last year for a floating ornament that I did on the blog. And I want to put some of this inside my snowman. So I brought in a egg carton and I'm just going to set this little guy in there. I made this little paper funnel out of just a piece of scrap paper. And then I have a kitchen spoon. Now I know already that this is going to go everywhere no matter what kind of precautions I take. And as you see, I can't even keep my funnel in the ornament. So I'm just going to spoon some up, put the funnel in, and then just kind of shake the spoon around to get all of that fake snow into the ornament. And then I will put one more scoop in, I think. And let's see how that looks. So I don't need to fill it up completely because there is static electricity. So it will coat the back of the ornament. And I think that looks pretty nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the top on. And there we go. Now I will take a few pictures of this outside with my evergreen tree. Um, but let's go ahead and get some snow into this other guy. Now, like I said, you could put in as much or as little snow as you want. And 
I'm going to be cleaning this stuff up for a while because my ceiling fan is on and it is already blowing all over the place. And then we'll get the lid put back on this one as well. Like I was saying, these are plastic ornaments, so they are not as fragile as glass ornaments, but you still want to be very careful with them. And we'll shake that around a little bit. And there is our second ornament. All right, let me get this mess cleaned up a little bit, and we'll be right back. Well, here are our two finished snowmen ornaments. Aren't they just adorable? I think they turned out fantastic. I did learn a good lesson with this first one, so I will keep that in mind when I make some more of these. But even with the carrot overlapping the corner of the mouth, I think this ornament is just adorable. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I put up the next video. Until then, have a great day, you guys. Bye.